You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your general tarot reading this week. Now, Pisces, I also do your weekly general, or I obviously do your weekly general. I do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Pisces, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point. I also do your, just did actually your uh, urgent spirit guide messages for tarot, which I'll leave a link to. I'll leave all the links over there for you to check out. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, uh, Pisces, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Pisces, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below how they do and, you know, all that jazz, right? Because that's how I keep up with y'all through the tarot or obviously through tarot, but I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, I would really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, Pisces. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra time to support my tarot reading channel. And finally, uh, Pisces, remember this reading here is just here to give you some perspective. No tarot reading should ever make a decision in your life. This just should be here to provide some uh, food for thought, a perspective to consider as you go throughout your week. So when it comes to any of my tarot readings or any tarot reading, in my personal opinion, do not allow tarot to just make the sole decision for you. Um, so with all that being said, Pisces, let's get into your reading this week. So we're going to start out with the general energies of things. We have two different full moon, or two different moons, rather, moon oracle cards that came out for you this week, Pisces. We'll start out with the full moon, Surrender to the Divine. This is honestly by far my favorite card in the deck, Pisces, just because of the fact that this card is pretty much asking for you to have faith, you know, and faith, what faith is to me is being able to trust that things are going to work out, even when you have not the slightest idea of how it's going to. You you practice faith by not really referencing any specific fact or really having anything of substance to hold on to. You just have faith that something's going to work out just because you believe it's going to. Um, so when you have surrendered to the divine, it's kind of like spirit asking for you to just release the sense of control, the need to have control over some aspect of your life, or maybe even just in your life in general right now. Maybe for some of you Pisces who are just trying to like control so much of what the results should be in your life and how you think things should pan out in your life by being so um, obsessed, really, I'll use that word, um, with trying to just get things in the way that you want them. It may not be on the same page, you not, may not be functioning off the same page, like the divine basically has a different uh, thing coming for you. So just go with the flow of things. I feel like if you stop resisting, I always like to say the universe has like a flow to it, like a river. And if you continue trying to go against that flow, you may make some ground, but it's, you're making a heck of a lot more ground if you just went with it and just like rode this uh, current out rather than spending so much time resisting. Um, we also have the uh, new moon in Taurus coming in for you. Prosperity lying ahead. Beautiful card to have. Uh, this is almost like a message in of itself with these two cards, Pisces, where it's just like, hey, we got your back. We're, we know what it is that you want. We know what it is that you're trying to accomplish, Pisces. Let us do our job, right? Stop trying to be a um, backseat driver. Now, granted, you should be in the driver's seat of your own life, right? But in, just in the analogy of stop telling, it's more so just the analogy of stop trying to tell the universe what you th like, what you think, how you think things should play out and just let them do their job, right? Because they have have your best interest at heart. Um, in the heart of this spread right here, we have the King of Cups. This is talking about like you're on the path towards stability. Um, regardless of whatever this prosperity comes in for, uh, like however this prosperity comes in for you with that new moon in Taurus, Pisces, it's definitely bringing forth some sense of uh, inner peace. It's bringing some sense of where it's almost just like, it makes sense when you think about it because it's like if you just give up having control and you just release the need to, and you just go with the flow, you know, you can even tell from this individual, like they're a lot more relieved from their stress, right? I don't know why I say a lot more as if we saw what they look like prior. But you look in this individual, they're at peace, their eyes are closed and they're just listening and um, really, again, just going with the flow of things, you know, they have a very 
um, serene self sense to them. And you can develop that sense of sereneness when you release the need to feel like you have to control how things are going. When you take away that responsibility of how things are going to pan out in your life. And, you know, this is not me saying to just give up everything that you're doing right now, Pisces, but when you have this, just like this sense of release of feeling like you need to control everything, it's really freeing in a sense when you think about it. And you have the Justice card coming in with the Three of Cups. Now, Pisces, this is just all in the name of bringing things into balance so you can have some celebration, so you can have your victory, right? I feel like this is what that the general theme of this week for you, Pisces, is to just bring things back into balance, whether it's your emotional needs, whether it's just your mental, um, things are just going back or starting to shape into getting into proper order, I feel like, for you in your life. So when we have this type of message, it's almost like you probably, uh, Pisces, have been going through a little bit of, um, probably have felt a little bit ungrounded recently, Pisces. Um, so... Yeah, I like how these cards are shaping up to be right off the bat. So let's now get into your rose, Pisces. Um, I'm going to be doing some tarot cards uh, for your first row, for your career, my Pisces that are interested in their career and finances. And then I'm going to be doing a tarot row for my Pisces and their social situation. And then I'll do a final row, Pisces, where it's just some uh, final thoughts from your spirit guides, ancestors, whatever it is you choose to believe in and subscribe to. So let's get into these uh, career and financial matters messages for my Pisces right now. So looking at, right at, looking at this right off the bat, Pisces, we are starting out with the Three of Cups again following you. I love it when these cards follow throughout the tarot deck because it really lets you know that there's a connection made, that there's really, like, if you don't believe it, right, if you don't believe that you're, like, the path that you're going on is taking you towards your success, Three of Cups is just going to keep on coming in from Spirit reminding you, being like, honey, like, we know where it is, we know where the end goal is, what the end goal is for you, just trust us right now. Um, Eight of Cups is another card of, um, this is, I want to say it's like another card of just trusting the process, Pisces. You have so many cards that are talking about trusting, Pisces, it leads me to believe that it's just like, you're probably in the sense of just really not knowing what the heck to make of your life right now, honestly. Y'all like how I'm just like moving my camera as I'm speaking to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you're probably in this state of where it's like... You can't really make much sense of anything and you're trying to just grasp at anything to like probably even make sense of what's going on and just being like, okay, at least you're probably just wanting to know what direction you're going in and where it is that spirit's trying to take you and where your life is just trying to take you you may not even have any idea of what it is and that's why you're having this sense of um really wanting to get your be involved in this process right now because everything might just feel like it's up in the air i don't know why pisces i just keep feeling like you need to do some grounding exercises cleansing maybe um i just keep on getting this sense of where it's just like things just don't feel like energetically take that as you will pisces um from someone like me but it doesn't feel like it does feel like something's a little bit off balance i wouldn't even say that even without the justice card um i'm a libra so i always <laughs> care about that balance right and then we have the eight of discs coming in here so this is definitely like a um learning how to release to get to your success learning how to go a different route even perhaps to get to where it is that you want to go um in your situation pisces so how do we break this down though i would really associate this with um i just can't help but feel like pisces you have an idea in mind of what it, how it is you want to get your finances in order or you have an idea like a dream job in mind and like where it is that you want to work even and like you kind of don't want to accept anything but like maybe if you were to even i can't help but when like college came into mind even though college isn't i guess it can be kind of associated with your, your career um especially with that eight of pentacles um that we have there which talks about education like it's almost like you have like a specific college in mind that you want to go to and you won't accept anything else and some of you Pisces may have been rejected already, right? Or you just like maybe are just in this process of trying to meet the requirements. And I don't know, Pisces, I just feel like 
you're going to get what it is that you want. I just feel like it's not in this in the storyline or the details and how you think that it's going to be. But let's pull some clarifiers though. We have three of pentacles. Threes keep following you. So write down the number three Pisces for numerology to look up later. Uh, but the clarifier for the three of cups comes in with the three of pentacles. So this is the third time that's uh there's a reference to like three of cups is like an energy usually with like a bunch of like a, more than just one person usually but i was trying to just stray away from that um just because with this three of pentacles coming in as well where it's just more collaborative energy i really do get this sense pisces of where there's someone in like your work environment or someone around you that can really be of great assistance in terms of trying to get you to some uh, success in terms of your career and in terms of your um, finances. Um, confirming with that with the Eight of Cups being clarified by the Lover's card. Um, so definitely, Pisces, this is just like a... Um, maybe you wanted to like do some type of project with some person in mind and now in this sense of the message it's almost just like consider a new person consider um a new avenue of how you're going to accomplish this maybe before you wanted to just do this by yourself and be more of a lone wolf but now there's just this strong calling very strong presence of some other energy that would be in it for the long haul uh, right because the three of pentacles is led commitment energy it's that energy of signing contracts, documents. The lovers is a big, is like the representation of a big decision being made, right? So lots of long-term in regards to this. Uh, now, let's see here. The devil comes in with the eight of discs. Now, Pisces, this lets me know of like, someone not learning from their mistakes necessarily not learn or not we don't want to say mistakes it feels like someone's just not learning a lesson that's being presented and when you don't learn a lesson spirit's going to keep on providing it every single time so maybe uh, there seems to be like a maybe if you have like a person keep on appearing in your life uh pisces like some type of person in the workplace or just a person in general that maybe you wouldn't expect to be interested in like the same type of into knitting or something like that that you want to like make a business out of there's i don't know i keep on feeling like there's something that's constantly reoccurring for you pisces um that spirits are really trying to have you pay attention to but you keep on missing it um so definitely look at what's been like a constant pattern what people have been constantly just coming into your life for seemingly no reason what opportunities have been coming into your life for seemingly no reason repeatedly look at the pa look at patterns pay attention to patterns this week of, and because there's something trying to break through to you so um yeah that's enough for my pisces in the career search in social uh, career and financial financial situation pisces now let's start getting into my pisces social situation for this week okay we have for you three of disc is following you as well honey three of disc and three of cups following you but i what i tell you th threes are following you completely pisces um three of discs i mean we already went over that really honing in and confirming what i was saying before that there does seem to be some type of person some type of social some i really do feel like it's a person that would work beautifully for you in terms of your career and finances and however way that pans out maybe someone in the workplace maybe the, i mean this could even be a push for you to um go for that raise as well regardless what it is i just feel like some type of person plays a pretty pivotal role um in regards to your just overall overall abundance um we have the death card coming in here so you know this has been the similar similar message of where there has been some type of transition right the eight of cups the eight of cups is the is a reference to like transitions that you were resisting so when you have the eight of remember you had the eight of cups and the devil card paired together so this is well no actually it was the it was the eight of cups with the uh what is it? Eight of Cups <laughs> with your um, Eight of Disc. It was actually the... Um... Actually, <sighs> Pisces, don't mind me. <laughs> I was right the first time. I forgot that I pulled two different eights for you. So let's continue on with this, right? I do... <sighs> Pisces, really just pay attention to the people that are in your life right now. I do feel like this person's present in your life and someone that you can't quite escape from. Um, yeah, and I can't... It just feels like you're trying to put a closure to something. Like, you're trying to just, like, move on, but, like, something keeps reappearing. 
You're ignoring your intuition with this high priestess. I feel like there's something, yeah, something's trying to reach you, Pisces, truly. Um, and it's just, yeah. Ten of Wands comes in. This is what's going on, Pisces. Now, there's two ways to this message, because I do get a sense that this could be inverted for some of you Pisces when it's paired with the Sphere Discs. This could easily be a situation of where someone could like lessen the workload for you um if this is inverted but for the pisces that are just have this upright i do get this sense that this is just really like your biggest hurdle there does seem to be some type of collaborative energy that's like the next phase of your life right the next phase of whatever it is that you're trying to get to um it just seems like the next progression for you is to collaborate in some way. And it just seems like you're kind of resisting it in some way or you're just not considering it with somebody. Um, we have with the death card, the five of swords. Yeah, there's just something that you're trying to like put an end to or something that you're trying to move on from. And I, I don't know, Pisces, I'm not going to repeat myself too much just because you probably get the point. But I really just look at what keeps on reoccurring and your like, keeps coming back that you can't seemingly escape from because there's something to look at there and the high priestess card comes in with the knight of queens so definitely listen to your intuition more pisces the intuition's trying to guide you into new territory this intuition is your intuition probably is even telling you there's probably <sighs> here's the thing pisces i get the sense i don't know who this person is right and why there's such a resistance of trying to just not deal with them um but i just i get this sense that like you you're just a little bit guarded with them your guard is up with them because that's what the high priestess is as well as very like can't quite reach the person can't quite tell what to make of them and so it's just like there's something that has you on guard and maybe it's unrelated to this person maybe someone in your past just made you um be on guard and not distrustful towards people but there is somebody that you're not wanting to let in and you're not letting in and in fact trying to close that chapter and be like enough like we're done here that really keeps coming back into your life because your story with them is not done yet. I know that's not going to be like a message that some of you Pisces want to hear, but I mean, um, this keeps on repeating itself, <laughs> right? From your work to your social. So let's just get some final closing thoughts for your reading now, Pisces. Um, I've honestly really enjoyed this reading. Uh, even though I know it probably is not going to be the happiest of readings for some of y'all, because I know I can already see some of the comments now that just being like, nope, already done with that person, right? I'm going to be honest, Pisces. Um, I don't get the sense that it's someone romantic. So I will say for those Pisces that are worrying about like an ex, um, I don't get romantic feelings, but maybe that's just because you don't, I'm not like I'm tapping into your energy and you don't have any romantic feelings for them. But there doesn't seem to be like, besides that lover's card, which I feel like is more so emphasizing a decision and like emphasizing like what the three of pentacles represents in those contracts, right? Um, there's really nothing else that talks about emotions in that kind of way. So final cards um, for general messages, we have the Five of Cups coming in here. So oh, there's this situation, I, this probably is like what's going on here. Now, again, this could be related to this person, uh, I don't know your story, but there does seem to be like, you're referencing the past or something that's happened to you before. And you're treating, like you're using that to go through your life now, which I mean, that's how we go through life is by going based off of our past experiences. But it almost feels like at this point, it's kind of impeding you because it's like you're blocking yourself off from going forward in life because you can't let go of something that's happened in the past and that has you guarded now, whether it's related to this person or not. And then you have the Knight of Disc following you again. So yeah, Pisces, you're being put, you're being called to put, go out of your comfort zone. Once you go out of your comfort zone, that's when the Wheel of Fortune starts turning in your favor. But it does seem to be like, I don't, honest, I'm going to be, just be honest here, Pisces. I don't see this wheel turning, um, starting to turn, getting movement until you kind of go out of your comfort zone, stop looking back from the past, referencing what's been going, like what happened to you from before. For, it's big forgiveness energy that that is being exuded in this and just 
kind of just letting go. Letting go and just be like, you know what? The cards will fall wherever they need to fall. Um, but I see a lot of good happening, like a beautiful dynamic, like you two would really complement each other really well. Um, so this is interesting. Now, yeah, I don't feel called to do any more cards for you, Pisces. So if you enjoyed this reading, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I know I was a little bit all over the place and <laughs> a little bit there, but I hope you could you could find some messages that were of resonance. Um, if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the future, Pisces. I love you so much. Bye.